Hello, and welcome to Forgotten Tech. For the channel's first video, we'll be taking a look back at Compaq's first laptop, so stay tuned, you don't want to miss it. And here it is, Compaq's first laptop, the SLT 286. Released in 1988, this no-compromise desktop replacement had a base price of $5,399, over $11,000 in today's money, a far cry from the cheap budget computers Compaq would eventually become known for. At the front, we have a floppy drive, standby button, indicator lights, and a carry handle. On this side, we have the first of two lid latches and a blank to cover where the optional internal modem would go. At the back, after we flip up this cover, we have the PS2 port for connecting an external keyboard, a 37-pin connector for connecting an external floppy or tape drive, a serial and parallel port for connecting peripherals like a mouse or printer, a VGA port for connecting an external monitor, and a docking port for connecting the optional docking station. On this side, we have the power connector and switch, as well as the second lid latch. Now it's time to show off this computer's party piece. Despite being the lightest portable computer that Compaq made at the time, this laptop is far from light. Weighing in at a bulky 14 pounds, you wouldn't want to hold this computer in your lap for too long. Realizing this, Compaq made the keyboard removable. Complete with a set of legs, this lightweight keyboard can be used almost anywhere. And I do mean anywhere. If you remove the right hinge cover, you can unplug the keyboard from the computer and completely remove it. Since it uses a standard connector, you can plug it into any computer with a standard PS2 port. With the keyboard out of the way, you can see where the battery would go if I had one. I'm not sure what DuPont provided for this cable, but it's certainly not every day you see their logo on a computer part. Once it's powered on, this computer is pretty standard for the time. You have a 10-inch grayscale display with brightness and contrast adjustments just below. Unfortunately, prior to filming, this computer decided that it doesn't like hard drives anymore. So for today, we'll be booting off of this floppy instead of the 20 megabyte hard drive. This computer is running on a 12 megahertz Intel 286 processor and has two megabytes of RAM. You gotta love those old computer sounds. I'm just starting up the Microsoft Diagnostic Utility real quick so that you can take a look at the system specifications yourself. One downside to this computer's design is that the lid latch actually has to go through the removable keyboard in order to lock into place. So if you don't have everything perfectly aligned, the latch can't fully engage. Not the best thing to happen if you don't notice. Well, this pretty much covers the video for today. If you've enjoyed watching this, please remember to share and subscribe, and we'll see you next time on Forgotten Tech.